good evening guys in the last class we discussed about string joiner optional for each method and date and time api string joiner class is used to join the strings by using some delimiter and a prefix and a suffix optional class it is used to avoid null pointer exceptions for each method it is used to traverse each element available in the collection and the next one is date and time api changes in the java we have util class which is used to represent a date but the problem with the date is when we create the date object it will represent both date and time if you want to represent only date or only time then we need to write our own logic to avoid those problems in the 1.8 version they introduced date and time apis with several new classes and new methods got introduced all right so what are those local date class local time class local date time period class and the duration classes got introduced fine today we are going to talk about another important area in the 1.8 which is the most frequently asked interview question that is stream api so today we are starting our discussion related to stream api lot of things we need to understand in the stream and lot of exercises we need to do in the stream perfect so what is the stream stream api introduced in java 8 version stream api introduced in java 1.8 version now streams are used to stream api is used to process the data stream api introduced in java 1.8 version stream api is used to process the data now we have collections collections are used to store the data collections are used to store the data whatever the data that got stored in the collection that data can be processed by using stream api okay stream api is one of the biggest change happened in java 1.8 version stream api is one of the major feature added in java 1.8 version java 1.8 version stream api introduced in 1.8 stream api is used to process the data so stream is not for storing the data guys stream is just to process the data collections are used to store the data stream api is used to process the data stream api is one of the major features added in added in java 1.8 version 1.8 version okay what is a stream a stream can be represented as sequence of elements that performs operations a stream can be defined as a stream in java a stream stream in java can be defined as can be defined as sequence of elements that comes from a source that comes from a source a stream in java can be defined as sequence of elements that comes from a source so when the when the elements are coming from the source stream is going to perform the operations the source for the stream can be array or it can be a collection a stream source can be source can be for a stream source source of data for the stream can be source of data for the stream can be array or collection of elements so when you have a array data array means group of elements right when we have group of elements that group of elements can be processed by using stream when we have a collection object group of objects will be available in the collection collection is a entity when you have a array or when you have a collection that array data 
our collection data we can consider as a source and we can use stream to process the array data and we can use a stream to process that collection data source here refers to a collection or array elements stream will take the array or collection of data and stream is going to process that okay guys now few important points we need to remember about the streams few important points about the streams few important points about streams good now the first one is the first one is here stream is not a data structure collection is a data structure but whereas stream is not a data structure okay guys so collections are nothing but data structures array list is having one data structure linked list having one data structure hash set having one data structure right linked hash set having one data structure but stream is not a data structure stream is just used to perform operations stream means bunch of operations stream means bunch of operations applied on source data on a source data source can be a collection or array source can be collection or array so don't think that streams are used to store the data no collections are used to store the data collections are nothing but they are having set of classes every class is having its own data structure stream is not a data structure stream means bunch of operations applied on source data source can be a collection or array source can be anything so when the data is available in the array or when the data is available in the collection stream is going to process that data and stream is going to perform operations on the data now stream will just process the data stream will not change original data structure of the source stream will not change will not change original data structure of the source stream will not change original data structure of the source it will just process it will just process i have a collection of objects i want to do some filters i want to do some mapping operations i want to do some other processing operations stream will just do the processing operations stream is not going to change the original data structure stream is not a data structure stream means bunch of operations applied on source data source can be a collection or source can be array stream will not change original data structure of the source stream will just process that can you please read it what is the stream api and why stream api introduced in java 1.8 version stream api introduced in java 1.8 version stream api is used to process the data collections are used to store the data stream api is one of the major features added in java 1.8 version stream in java can be defined as sequence of elements that comes from a source source of data for the stream can be array or collection so we need to remember few points about the stream stream is not a data structure stream means bunch of operations applied on source data source can be a collection or source can be a array stream will not change original data structure of the source it will just process the data given by the source it will just process the data given by the source could you please read these two guys are you able to understand what is the stream and why the stream came into picture are you guys able to understand what is the stream and why this stream came into picture
Come on, guys. Understood, na? Good, perfect. Now, let's start related to streams discussion. How to create a stream? How to create a stream? In Java, we can create the stream in two ways. How to create the stream? So let's understand stream creation. Stream creation. Stream is used to process the data. Stream is not going to change the original data structure. Stream will take the data from a array or stream will take the data from the collection. It will process. How to create the stream? In Java, we can create stream in two ways. In Java, we can create stream in two ways. What are those two ways? One is by using one is by using stream dot off method. Okay. Element one, comma, element two, comma, element three, comma, element four, etc. Like this, you can create the stream by using off method stream of given values like that we can create the stream and the second one you can create the stream by using stream method so here data can be available in the array or data can be available in the collection or we can directly create the stream with the data if you have the data already then you can use stream method to create a stream and we can process that if you want to create a stream with a given data, then there is an option called stream.off. In Java, we can create the stream in two ways stream.off, or we can create it by using stream method. We can create it by using stream method. Let me take one example. I'm taking one Java class and I will show you how to create a stream. Stream can be created in two ways. One is by using off method. Second one is by using stream stream method. Yeah, let me open my IDE. What happened to this? Yeah, it opened. Let me create a new package for this classes. New package in dot Ashoka ID dot streams. Yeah. Here I'm creating one class first demo. A main method. Now I want to create a stream. I want to create a stream, right? So stream Java dot util dot stream stream of integer stream of integer stream one is equal to stream dot of values. Okay, you can pass values one comma two comma three comma four comma five like this. I can create a stream by using stream dot of this is one stream similarly i can create a stream by using stream method for example i'm having one class called array list class array list of string some names is equal to new array list i have a collection class called array list class inside this array list class some names are available names dot add of some name right names dot add of some value right names dot add of value now here i have a collection from this collection i want to create the stream for that we can use names dot stream which is going to give me a stream object stream 2 so here i created stream 1 here i created stream 2 First stream I created by using off method. Second stream I created by using stream method. Okay, so this is approach one to create the stream object. And this is approach two to create the stream object. Now I have a stream with the data. 
collection is available with the data collections are used to store the data collections are used to store the data streams are used to process the data okay so you understand how to create the stream guys are you able to understand how to create the stream now how many ways are there to create the stream now how many ways are there to create the stream now there are two ways available to create the stream what are the two ways one is by using off method second one is by using stream method you can create the stream by using off method you can create the stream by using stream method there are two ways so guys can you please respond what is the purpose of stream why java language introduced the stream why java language introduced the stream can you guys tell me streams are used to store group of objects huh? streams are used to store group of objects huh? then what is the difference between collections and streams what is the difference between collections and streams guys is there any difference or both are same is there any difference between collections and streams or both are used for same purpose collections are used to store the data stream is used to process the data by using stream we can perform some operations on the data now for example here i have a collection with some names print the names which are starting with the character j okay there are some values available in the stream and i want to print the numbers which are even numbers so these are collection of numbers array of elements available from this collection i want to print the numbers which are even i want to print the names which are starting with the character a i want to print the employees which are having salary greater than one lakh like that n number of operations we need to perform on the data so to process the data in the 1.8 version stream api got introduced stream api is one of the biggest change happened in the java 1.8 version we can create the stream in two ways one is by using off method second one is by using stream method and we need to remember that stream is not a data structure stream means bunch of operations applied on the data stream will not change the original data structure of the source it will just process the given data given by source stream is not a data structure stream means bunch of operations applied on source of data source can be collection or source can be array stream will not change the original data structure it will just process the given by the source it will just process the data given by the source we are able to create the stream by using off method and we are able to create the stream by using stream method perfect now operations on the stream so here after creating the stream we need to perform operations on the stream right here data is available in the second stream in the second stream there is some second stream is representing one collection first stream is representing some values we need to perform operations on the stream stream operations stream operations by using this stream what operations can be performed on the data okay stream api provided several methods to perform the operations got my point stream api provided several methods to perform operations on the data the main aim of the stream is used to perform the operations only in order to perform the operations in the stream api there are several methods are available stream api provided several methods to perform operations on the data the methods of the stream api are divided into two types we can divide 
we can divide stream api methods into two types there are n number of methods several methods are available in the stream api to perform the operations first we need to create the stream by using that stream we can perform some operations on the data to perform operations on the data stream api provided several methods we can divide stream api methods into two types one is intermediate operation methods and the second one is terminal operations methods what are those two types guys first one is intermediate operational methods intermediate operational methods and the second one is terminal operational methods in the interview also they will ask you what kind of operations we can perform on the stream on the stream we can perform two types of operations first one is intermediate operations and the second one is terminal operations stream api provided several methods to perform operations on the data we can divide stream api methods into two types first one is intermediate operational methods and the second one is terminal operations methods sir what is the difference between this intermediate operation methods and terminal operations methods intermediate operation methods will not provide any result they will actually accept the functional interfaces parameters and always returns a new stream okay guys intermediate operations will do operation and they will return a new stream intermediate operations will perform the operations on the stream of data and always will return a new stream always will return a new stream intermediate operational methods intermediate operational methods will perform operations on the stream operations on the stream and all and returns and returns a new stream right so whenever you perform some intermediate operation on the stream that intermediate operational methods available i have a stream of data i want to perform operations on the data the stream operations are classified into categorized into two types first one is called intermediate operations second one is called terminal operations intermediate operational methods will perform operations on the stream and returns always a new stream what are the example for these operations so the example we will see those methods filter method is available and map method is available these are some examples for intermediate operations on the stream filter the data so whenever you filter the data always it will do the filtering and will return a new stream and map the data it will perform the mapping and will return a new stream so the methods which will return the methods which will perform the operation and returns a new stream as a return value those methods are called as intermediate operational methods terminal operations means they will perform the operation they will produce the result but not the new stream okay terminal operational methods will take input and will produce the output directly terminal operational methods terminal operational methods will take input and will provide result as output will provide result as output so what is the difference between intermediate operations and terminal operations for example if i go for a method called count to method if i go for a method called count to method it will just take the data and how many elements are available it will just count and will give the result terminal operational methods will take input and will provide the result as output intermediate operational methods will perform operations on the stream and will returns a new stream can you guys tell me this stream api provided several methods to perform operations on the data we can perform those operations we can perform those operations in two ways intermediate and terminal intermediate operational methods will perform operations on the stream and returns a new stream terminal operational methods will take input and will provide result as output will take input and will provide result 
as output example count method okay guys understand what kind of operations we can do on the streams what kind of operations we can do on the stream how many types of operations we can do on the stream two types of operations we can do on the stream intermediate operations and terminal operations perfect let's quickly revise what we discussed now we will jump into practicals programming part we will see now as of now we understood theoretically what is a stream and why we need to go for stream how to create a stream what operations can be done by using stream theoretically we understood now we have to understand practically okay understand guys just read the points streams are very 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 important without asking a question on the streams your java interview will not be completed that much important it is even for experienced people also even for experienced people also stream api is important in the interview even for experienced people also stream api is important in the interviews samjha yeah please read these points once i love you reading please revise the points if you are strong in theory part theory part of the stream then i will make you strong in the programmatic part as well yeah few important points about the streams few important points about the streams please read it completed stream creation in how many ways we can create the stream stream creation in two ways we can create the stream by using off method by using stream method this is my approach one and this is my approach to to create the stream once the stream is created we can do some operations on the stream to perform operations on the stream stream api provided several methods all the methods of the stream api can be divided into two types one is intermediate operation methods and the second one is terminal operational methods intermediate operational methods will perform operations on the stream and always returns a new stream intermediate operational methods will perform operations on the stream and returns a new stream then what about terminal operations terminal operational methods will take input and will provide result as output so these are the operations now 
guys can you write a logic <clears throat> can you get a right can you write the logic to print the numbers which are greater than 20 can you create a list of numbers and can you print the numbers which are greater than 20 can you write the logic by using normal java program can we write the logic by using normal java program taking a numbers and printing getting the numbers which are greater than 20 simple normal java program right suppose for example here i'm taking one stream here i'm taking some numbers some 66 comma some 32 some 45 some 12 some 20. i want you to get the numbers which are greater than 20. like this you need to take list of numbers and you need to write the logic to get the numbers which are greater than 20. normally how we will write the logic normally how we will write the logic how we will write the logic earlier earlier how we use it to write the logic arrays dot as list i'm going to create one list by using as list method it will give me list now i'm going to write for integer i of list system dot out dot if if i greater than 20 then system dot out dot print ln of i is this my logic or not is this the logic that we are going to do or not printing the numbers which are greater than 20. so there are two numbers available with three numbers available which are greater than 20. this is the regular style of coding that we are going to follow to filter the data i have list of numbers from those numbers i want to find out the numbers which are greater than 20. so this is our general logic that every programmer will write but people use it to write this kind of code up to 1.7 version of java but from 1.8 how this logic we are implementing let me comment this from 1.8 we are going to use the streams to process this data list dot stream already collection is available from the collection i'm going to create a stream from the collection i'm going to create a stream once the stream is created that stream can be stored into a variable that stream can be stored into a variable then stream dot filter what is the parameter for the filter guys can you see the parameter for the filter predicate do you know what is a predicate do you know what is a predicate predicate will take one input will return one boolean value as a output so similarly filter method is available will take a input i and i greater than 20 i am giving i greater than 20 i am calling filter i am calling filter method okay I got the another stream. So filter here, I have a collection with a collection. I'm creating a stream from the stream. I'm calling a filter. Filter comes under which operation? Intermediate operation. So what happened? Whatever the data we have given to the stream, it is doing a filter on the stream. I lambda with I greater than 20. Whenever you do the filter on the stream, with the filtered data one more stream it has returned then filter dot for each for each method is taking consumer for each method is taking consumer system dot out dot print ln of that i system dot out dot print ln of i now see here i'm able to get the data so this is the logic that we used to write earlier but now this is the logic we are going to write arrays dot as list i'm taking list of numbers from these numbers i want to get the numbers which are greater than 20. i'm writing a for each loop i'm getting the each element from the list 
I'm checking if the value is greater than 20, then I'm printing that value. This is a legacy approach. What is the latest approach? The latest approach is we need to process the data. Collection of data is available. Collection of values available. From those values, I want to get the values which are greater than 20. I'm going to create list.stream. With that, my stream is created. From the stream, I'm creating a filter. Filter is an intermediate operation. Filter will always return new stream. Once I get the new stream to process that stream data, I'm using for each method. By using for each, I'm printing. This is one lambda and this is one lambda. Here it is taking input. It is giving Boolean value as output. So filter method is taking predicate as a parameter. For each method taking input, not returning anything. For each method taking consumer as the input. So this will do. Whatever we are doing this for each method, same logic can be done by using stream also. Sir, here also there are several lines of code available. Here also several lines of code is available. What is the benefit? Now we can simplify this code. Let me comment this code now. Let me comment this code now. We can simplify that logic into single line, guys. We can simplify that logic into single line. See here, list dot stream, stream. That is going to whenever I call list dot stream, it is returning a stream object. On the stream object, I'm calling a filter. That filter I can call directly here. Filter for the filter, I am going to pass predicate. Give each number as an input and check that number is greater than 20 or not. Yes, so whenever I call this filter, again it is going to return the stream only. First time when I call the stream method on the collection list.stream, when I call the list.stream, it is returning a new stream object. On the stream object, I'm calling the filter. So directly I'm calling the filter on the stream. List.stream will give you a stream. Stream.filter, I'm giving you a predicate. Each value I'm giving as input, it will check the condition, will return the true or false. On that stream, again, whenever I call the filter method, again it will give you a stream. On that stream, I am calling the for each method. Directly, I will call the for each method here. When I call that for each method here, I'm going to pass i value and system dot out dot print ln of i. Okay, with a single line, we are able to complete our task. Yes, I'm able to get the numbers. See, earlier we used to write the for each method to print the numbers which are greater than 20. Same logic, same filtering logic I'm able to do by using stream. How many lines of code I'm writing? Are we able to complete the task with a single line? Are we able to complete the task with a single line? Yes or no? Now you understand the power of lambdas and stream API? So here stream is changing original collection. Is my stream changing the original collection which I am giving? Or stream is taking the data from the collection and just processing that data? Stream is taking the data from the collection and processing the data. Is the stream is going to change original data structure? No. Collections are used to store the data. Stream is used to process the data. Are you compare this logic? This logic? this logic in three ways i have implemented this logic guys last two ways are same but more optimization i have done on the code observe the first approach that we used to follow and now from java 1.8 how we are going to write that logic Are you clear with my point? Can I write the last line once again? Yeah. Are you able to understand this line, this logic? Are you able to understand this logic? If you understand this logic, then the last single line of code is very easy to understand. Now my task is simple. I have list of numbers. From the list of numbers, I want to get the numbers which are greater than 20. That is my simple requirement. In general, how we will do that logic implementation? In general, how we will do that logic implementation? First, we are going to take 
a for each loop we will traverse this collection we will get each element from the collection we will check that each element is greater than 20 or not if any element which is greater than 20 then we are going to print that line that is legacy legacy means old old style of writing the java program now what is the latest style in the java lambdas whatever the task you want to do you can do it by using lambda lambda expressions introduced and we have stream api stream api is used to process the data how to process the data by using stream first we need to create the stream stream can be created in two ways one is by using off method second one is by using stream method here i created one stream by using a collection arrays dot as list i have given the list of elements to create one array list my array list is created once that array list is created from that array list i am creating a stream list dot stream when i call now see once again i'm going to write the logic i have a array list class list object from the list i want to create the stream to create a stream from the list we are going to use list dot stream when i use a list dot stream what is the return type of the stream method stream method will return a stream object okay stream is a predefined method which is used to return the stream object this is a new change happened in the collections before 1.7 this stream method is not available in the list interface in the 1.8 version stream api introduced so some changes happened to the collections framework also earlier in the list interface stream method not available in the 1.8 version only the stream method added in the list interface so whenever we call the stream method it is going to return a stream now i want to filter the data by using stream without modifying original data structure without modifying the original collection i want to filter the data for that i am going for stream collections are used to represent the data streams are used to process the data in order to filter the data in the stream i'm using a method called filter method filter method is taking a predicate that means it will take a input as lambda and it is going to return true or false value true or false value filter is a intermediate operation in the stream intermediate operation means it will take the input it will perform the operation and it will return a new stream what this filter method is doing this filter method will take the data from the stream what is that stream stream is taking the data from the collection so this filter method will take the stream of data that means a collection data each element it will give as input for the lambda lambda will return true or false if this condition is satisfied then filter method will collect the data and will create a new stream intermediate operation intermediate operation means it is going to perform the operation and always it will return a new stream new stream now first time creating a stream from the collection list dot stream a stream object is created stream dot filter i'm calling a filter method filter is a predefined method available in the stream interface that filter method is taking predicate it will take each element from the stream it will check the condition whoever is satisfying this filter condition those elements will be added to a new stream and a new stream will be returned that is called a filter once i got the filtered stream this is my filtered stream guys this is my original stream on the original stream i am calling a filter method whoever the elements which are available in the collection which element satisfy this condition that element will be added to a new stream once i got the new stream i can print the data from the new stream filtered data filtered stream filtered stream dot for each method for each method is used to traverse that stream filtered stream dot for each consumer i'm taking each element and i'm going to call system dot out dot print ln of i that's it from the collection i'm creating my stream from the stream i'm doing a filter from the filter i'm printing the data three lines of code i'm writing to implement this logic here if you observe on the stream we are calling the filter on the filter we are calling the for each can i customize this logic into single line can i reduce three lines of code into single line 
are you clear with this point now are you able to understand these three lines of code all of you is there any confusion in the three lines of code easy or difficult is it right we have a collection from the collection we created the stream from the stream we call the filter method whenever we call the filter method it is filtering the data and returning a new stream once it return the new stream on the new stream we are calling the for each method to get the each element from the stream instead of writing three lines of code for this requirement we can reduce the three lines to single line by using method chaining by using method chaining now see list dot stream list dot stream what is the purpose of list dot stream will give you a new stream so what is the return type of stream method a stream object once we get the stream object can i call the filter method directly here can i call the filter method directly here yes because whenever i call the list this this statement this piece of code will give me stream object stream object dot filter for the filter i am giving input my condition if i greater than 20 then what that filter method will do this piece this part will give me one stream on that stream i am calling the filter whenever i call the filter that filter is giving me another stream on that stream i am calling the for each method on that stream i am calling the for each method system dot out dot print ln of i that's it that's it list dot stream now you need to break this code into three parts guys this is part 1 and this is part 2 and this is part 3 three. three parts available three lines of code combined into single line by using method chaining concept so when i call the stream method it will give me stream object on that stream i am calling the filter for the filter i am giving a condition filter will filter the data will return the new stream when the new stream is returned by the filter method on the filtered stream i am calling the for each method for each method is used to traverse the data that's it samjha sabko samajh mein aaya guys yes so which is recommended guys to filter the data this for each loop is recommended or this stream is recommended stream is recommended because it is more readable and more concise less number of lines of code less lines of code less lines of code and more readable code more readable code okay concise code can we say java programming style got changed from 1.8 is that statement true earlier we used to write like this now we are writing like this programming style got changed with the lambdas that is the reason java 8 is still the most used version in the industry java 8 futures even if you go for java 17 version or java 19 version lambdas we are going to use streams we are going to use right good so we understood one simple operation one simple operation by using filter okay so let's understand filtering with stream filtering with streams we already completed the filtering part let me give some theoretical points to understand what is this filtering part okay stream to filtering operations filtering means filtering the data from original data filtering means filtering means filtering means getting data getting required data from original data from original data filtering means getting required data from original data example get get even numbers get even numbers from given numbers get only even numbers get only even numbers from given numbers example get employees whose salary is 
greater than or equal to 1 lakh. Okay, get employees whose salary is equal to greater than or equal to 1 lakh. Example, get products, get mobiles, get mobiles whose price is great less than or equal to 15,000. Now, let us see here. Let me go to let me go to Flipkart where we can search for mobiles. Okay, guys, Flipkart mobiles. Now, if you see here in the Flipkart, how many mobiles are displaying now? Total count of the mobiles. Can you see? 8,794 products are displaying in the Flipkart. Those many types of mobiles available in the Flipkart. If you go to Flipkart mobiles search screen, here you can ob observe how many mobiles are available. 8,794 mobiles are available. Now, in these mobiles, I'm going to select the brand as Samsung. When I select the brand as a Samsung, guys, what happened? 8,000 mobiles changed to 400 mobiles. Can I say I applied a filter on the data? Can I say that I applied a filter on the data? Yes or no? I applied a filter on the data. If I remove that filter, again, 8,794 products are coming. Total in the Flipkart, total mobiles count is 8,794. But from these mobiles, I have some requirements. I want to purchase a mobile belongs to Samsung brand. Okay, I'm selecting the brand name as a Samsung. Now, the data got filtered. Flipkart application filtered that data. 8,000 mobiles come down to 484 mobiles only because of the filter. Can you see? There is a filter called brand filter. There is a filter called brand filter. Again, I'm going to apply one more filter. I want the RAM as 8 GB. I want the RAM as 8 GB. Samsung mobiles 484 models available in the Samsung 484 models available in the Flipkart. Samsung. All mobiles are 800, 8000 plus. In the 8000, Samsung brands are 484. From the 484, I want to apply a filter called RAM filter. I want 8 GB and above RAM. Ah, I have applied one more filter. 484 mobiles are filtered to 143. So what is the meaning of filter? Come on, guys. What is the meaning of filter now? Can you tell me? Can you tell me what is the meaning of filter? Can I say getting required data from original data? Can I say filter is nothing but getting a required data? Yes or no? Yes, we have some mobiles in the flip cart. From that mobiles, I'm getting the required data. That, that operation is called as filter. Filtering means getting required data from original data. Get only even numbers from given numbers. Get employees whose salary is greater than 1 lakh. Get mobiles whose price is less than or equal to 15,000. Like this, we can apply some filters. Okay, to filter the data, Stream API provided filter method to apply filter on the data to apply filter on the data stream api provided stream api provided filter method to apply filter on the data stream api provided filter method filter method will take filter method will take predicate as a input and will return stream as a output what is the input for the filter, guys? What is the parameter of the filter method? Filter method will take filter method will take predicate as an input. Based on the condition, it will filter the data. Predicate is a functional interface which is used to check the conditions. Now, what is the filter return type? Filter method will always return stream object. Filter will take predicate, that means a lambda as an input, predicate type lambda a lambda with the input and returns output as boolean value filter method will take a condition filter method is used for filtering the data right on what basis you want to filter the data give that condition as an input for the filter then filter will filter the data then it will 
give the new stream with the filtered data with the filtered data understood filtering means getting required data from original data to apply filter on the data stream api provided filter method filter method will take predicate as a input and will return stream as a output will take predicate as input will return stream as a output so this is the example which is used to filter the data understand my point yes now can you guys write the logic to print the names which are starting with the character a i will give you some names can you print the names which are starting with the character a i will give you some names now like this i'm going to give you some names arrays dot as list i'm going to give you some names arrays dot as list list of names we are going to take some john anushka robot anupama and smith and ashok all right this is my collection guys i got the names i got the names from this names can you print the names which are starting with character a by using stream api can you print the names which are starting with character a by using stream api how many lines how many lines we need to write can we do it in a single line list dot filter ikbal it should be stream dot filter come on guys practice come on make it quick john anushka anupama smith ashok i want to print the names which are starting with character a by using stream api we need to create the stream from the stream we need to do the filter from the filter we will get a new stream that new stream data we need to print samjha yeah see here names is a collection names dot stream i'm going to create a stream from that stream i am going to call filter method for the filter i am passing i if i dot starts with the character a then dot for each then i then system dot out dot print ln of i that's it right how simple it is how beautiful it is hai na names dot stream names dot stream it will give you one stream object whenever you call the stream it will give you one stream object stream dot to filter it is taking a predicate so i am giving each name as a input for the filter and it is taking a condition if a condition satisfy it will take that value if a condition not satisfied it will ignore that value if this filter condition satisfy that means then it will take that name if the filter condition not satisfy then it will ignore that name whichever the names satisfy this condition will be added to a new stream by using filter method that a new stream i am traversing by using for each method now see anushka anupama ashok we are able to get the three names which are starting with character a we are able to perform this operation we are able to perform this operation
Understand my point? Good. This is first example. Example one on the filter. Example one on the filter. Example two on the filter. numbers filtering and names filtering. Okay, so similarly, we can filter some objects also. Similarly, can we filter some objects also? Come on. Can we filter some objects also? <clears throat> yeah. So let me take one class called user class. Class user class user, integer ID, string name, integer ID, string name, and int age. Okay, let me write one constructor, user, integer ID, comma, string name, comma, ID, delete it, not required. Name and age, I'm going to represent, name, comma, integer age. This dot name is equal to name, and this dot age is equal to age. I'm going to override two string method to print the data of the object, not setters, getters, just a two string method. I'm overriding two string method. Can you tell me what is the purpose of two string method? Two string method is used to print content of the object. I have taken one user class. In the user class, I have two properties, one is a name property, another one is age property. And I'm taking one parameter as a constructor to initialize the user. Then I'm taking two string method. Two string method is used to print content of the object. Two string method is used to print a content of the object. Okay, now I'm going to create the user objects. I'm going to create the user objects. User one is equal to new user of some value some john comma 25 is the age user u2 is equal to new user of some smith comma age is 30 like this i'm going to create multiple user objects i'm going to create multiple user objects okay raju raju is 16 rani is 10 and some Charles 35 and Ashok 30. Like this. I have user objects user 1, user 2, user 3, user 4, user 5, user 6. Now, these users I want to represent as one collection. Okay. You can go for list.stream or you can go for stream.off. You can use u1 comma u2 comma u3 comma u4 comma u5 comma u6 with these user objects i want to create one stream with this i want to create one stream i got the stream okay by using collection you can create a stream by using stream method or you can create the stream by using off method by using off method all right now I want to filter the records whose age is greater than or equal to 18. Can you write a filter for this? I'm giving you this user objects. There are user objects available. Can you filter the users whose age is greater than or equal to 18? Whose age is greater than or equal to 18? Can you filter them? Can you filter them quickly? Quickly, can you filter them? I want a filter by using stream. I want a filter by using stream.
come on complete it only two people sent the logic remaining people sleeping ah huh? huh remaining people kya kar raha bhai simple right already we created a stream with the objects now we are going to use stream dot filter of user user dot age greater than or equal to 18 dot for each of user system dot out dot println of user that's it okay here i'm creating user objects user defined objects in these objects i have some data through constructor i have initialized those objects with those objects i created a stream by using off method on that stream i am calling the filter for the filter i am giving a condition which objects satisfy this condition those objects will be added to a another stream on that stream i am calling for each method to print that data execute it now you see the users whose age is greater than or equal to 18 those users came raju rani nayaya because those users age is not satisfying the condition raju rani records are not coming because their age is not matching with my filter condition got my point now now i want you to apply two filters on this data i want you to apply two filters on this data let me take it as anushka okay i want you people to write the logic to filter the names which are starting with the character a and age is greater than or equal to 18 can you try this two conditions name should start with the a and age should be greater than or equal to 18 i want that data come on try that now we have written the logic to just to get the data based on the age filter now i want to apply two filters on the data now i want to apply two filters on the data see as i shown you in the flip chart i filtered the data first by using samsung there are there are 8794 mobiles available in the flipkart from this list i am filtering by using samsung when i filter by using samsung i got 484 again i have selected ram as 4 gb when i select ram as 4 gb second filter from 484 i got 110 products two filters filters to two samsung filter ram filter is available similarly in this data as of now we applied only age filter now i want to apply name filter also both name and age i want to do both age and name i want to do can you try this can you try this now try to write the filter based on two conditions
come on guys are you doing that see here we can do like this right stream dot filter u u dot age greater than or equal to 18 and u dot name dot starts with a, a starts with a dot for each okay u dot filter and i'm doing dot for each action what i need to do i will take you and i will print that system dot out dot print ln of you okay run this i'm getting only anushka and ashok which are satisfying this condition you i'm giving the lambda u dot age and u dot name first condition and the second condition if two conditions are satisfied then only it will give the record age should be greater than 18 name should start with a then only we are going to get this you can write like this or there is another approach also to do this another approach also to do this you can call the filter method two times also u dot filter with the u dot h with the u dot h and again you can call the filter because filter method will always give the filter only new stream only now u dot name dot starts with a then dot for each u system dot out dot print ln of u you can call the filter method two times also no problem two filter conditions i am executing same output so here within the one condition i'm using and operator this condition should satisfy and this condition should satisfy or else when i call stream dot filter first it is giving me the records whose age is greater than 18 filter method will return a stream on that stream again i am calling one more filter with the name condition then it will give another stream then i am going to call for it so here one filter is happening one stream will come on that stream again i am applying a filter one more stream will come on that stream i am calling the for each method two conditions you can write two filters like this or you can write a single filter with the end operator like this got my point and operator this condition and this condition should satisfy or else you can write two filters like this to filter users data based on the name and based on the age perfect so this is example three on the filter can you guys practice this before coming to tomorrow's session can you guys practice this before coming to tomorrow's session Tomorrow also, we'll start the class at 5 o'clock, guys. Tomorrow, we'll take some extra time. Tomorrow, I will take 5 to 7.30. Today, I have some meeting at 6.30. I will drop now. So, we discussed about what is the stream API and what is the purpose of the stream API, how to create the stream, how to perform the operation. Today, we understood just one operation called filter operation on the stream. There are so many operations that we can do by using streams that we are going to discuss in the upcoming sessions tomorrow also class will be there uh, tomorrow class will be there at 5 o'clock 5 p.m 5 p.m uh, tomorrow is saturday na? working people tomorrow no office right tomorrow is saturday yeah so tomorrow we'll take the class at 5 p.m 5 to 7 30 we are going to take the class tomorrow we'll work on the stream api thank you guys so we'll continue in the tomorrow session bye bye